Good morning, kids! Today, we will learn how to use compound sentences to show a problem-solution relationship. A compound sentence has two independent clauses joined by coordinating conjunctions. An independent clause is a group of words that contains a subject and verb and expresses a complete thought. An independent clause is a sentence. Coordinating conjunctions connects words, phrases, and clauses of equal rank or importance. For us to easily remember the coordinating conjunctions, we can use the acronym FANBOYS. FANBOYS stands for FOR, AND, NOR, BUT, OR, YET, AND SO. FOR is used to mean BECAUSE. AND joins two similar thoughts. BUT and YET shows contrast between two ideas or indicates that only one of the two ideas is correct. Nor is used like or when none of the thoughts is true, and so shows that the second thought follows the first. Let's have an example. Ella is hungry, so she eats a lot. This sentence is an example of a compound sentence. A compound sentence, if we can recall, has coordinating conjunction and independent clauses. The coordinating conjunction in the sentence, Ella is hungry so she eats a lot, is so. While the independent clauses are the following. We have Ella is hungry and the second independent clause is she eats a lot. Also take note that whenever writing your compound sentence, you must use a comma before the conjunction and end it with a period. A problem and solution sentence is a sentence pattern where there is a concerning issue or problem and a remedy or solution to the said issue. So most often, the word used to form the compound sentence that shows a problem-solution relationship is the conjunction SO. Let's have an example. Ella is hungry, so she eats a lot. So in that sentence, we have a problem and we also have a solution. The problem is, Ella is hungry. And the part that says or dictates the solution is, she eats a lot. For our activity time, let us try to fill in the problem and the solution that we can find from the given sentence. First sentence, we need to recycle for we will soon be overwhelmed by garbage. Time's up. Let us see the correct answer. Do we have the same answer? Okay. The problem is we will soon be overwhelmed by garbage and the solution is we need to recycle. For the second sentence, our grandparents have weaker bones, so they have to drink milk. What is the problem? And the solution. The problem is our grandparents have weaker bones. And the solution they have to drink milk. Third, my back is aching, so I need some rest. Mm -hmm. 
The problem, my back is aching, while the solution is, I need some rest. Number four, he always wakes up late, so he needs an alarm clock. The problem, he always wakes up late. And the solution, he needs an alarm clock. Number five, some classes will be done online, so we will need an internet access. The correct answers are the following. For the problem, we have some classes will be done online. And for the solution, we will need an internet access. Was it easy for you? Okay, let's try the activities that we can find in your module. For what's in, can you find the most probable solution to the events in column 1? You're going to write the letter of your chosen answer from column 2. So from column 1, we have, for number 1, I can't go home yet. Number 2, she might forget about it. Number 3, it started to rain. Number 4, it's too bright during the day. Number 5, the school is too far away. Letter A, so I take the bus to school. B, for I need my travel pass. C, and you need to drink milk. D, so the kids run back to the house. E, so bots only go out at night from home. And F, so you need to remind her. Let us check your answer. For number one, I can't go home yet. For I need my travel pass. And that is letter B. Number two, she might forget about it. So, you need to remind her. Letter F. Number three, letter D. It started to rain, so the kids ran back to the house. Number four, it's too bright during the day. So, bats only go out at night from home. Number five, the school is too far away, so I take the bus to school. For what I can do, the directions given, write a compound sentence that shows a problem-solution relationship in response to the given situations. Example, your cell phone broke into pieces when it fell to the ground. What is the solution? So the possible answers are the following. My cell phone is broken, so I will bring it to the repair shop. Or it could be, my cell phone screen is broken, so I will replace it. For number one situation, you hurt the feelings of your best friend when you lost your temper. What will you do to solve the problem? Complete the statement. I hurt my friend's feelings, so I will blank. For number two, you have been invited to a birthday party of your classmate. You don't want to go there empty-handed, and you want to make your classmate happy. What do you plan to do, and what will you bring? And for the third situation, you notice that many of your classmates leave the classroom without turning off the fans and lights. What will you tell your classmates to remind them? So all you need to do is to complete the given responses for each situation. Congratulations! You did great in our lesson for today. Thank you so much and keep safe.